Hey guys, welcome back to GTA 4. Today we start the DLC that I've been getting bombarded with since the beginning days of when I started GTA 4. We recently did The Lost and Damned, which was amazing. It wasn't even the DLC that was requested. The one that I kept hearing about for many, many months now is The Ballad of Gay Tony. I don't know what's so good about it. I've honestly not looked much into it, but one thing that I have really enjoyed about the Lost and Damned, and I would assume this is going to provide the same thing, is that it's pretty much a secondary story to some of the people that were in Nico's way along the story. All the cast, all the supporting cast from the Lost and Damned had something to do with Nico in some way, shape, or form. Whether it was Jimmy that Nico killed, or I think it was uh, Nico that killed him, or whether it was Johnny that did certain missions with Nico. I, I feel like GTA 5 should have done that for the main story just because there was so many characters in GTA 5, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm just happy to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beginning of Grand Theft Auto, The Ballad of Gay Tony. I would really like to start off this series with a bang, so if you guys want daily episodes, smash the like. Let's see what the hype is all about. I'm excited. I've, I've got to be honest. I'm quite excited. Starting a new game. I love LC. Hey, yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm going to take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? It's Luis, man. I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea. Oh, dude. My leg in 13 That's when you robbed the bank in GTA 4. And won the game. Oh. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Dude, that's so freaking cool. Come on. So this is the character and he was in the... Oh. The PE4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people. We're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? <laughs> That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you. Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do. I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night. Motherfucker! <laughs> Oh. We told you not to fuck with us! <laughs> Shit! I remember Michael. that. Say fucking Michael! And he just gave him the name. Fucking shit! Get the money! And they we said that in GTA 4. Eventually that's gonna bite them in the ass. And I think our main character is Dominican. Diablo, que mierda. Totally Dominican. Well, if you think of anything else, Mr. Lopez. Sure, sure, I'll give you a call. Thanks. I oh, just threw away the ticket. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually excited for this. Okay, so he works for Tony. Yeah, there was a bomb at the bank. The place got robbed. Nothing to do with me, I, I swear. Oh! Some Irish guys. Anyway, um, listen. I'm coming over, okay? So wake up. You hear me? Wake up. Dude, I love how the game just intertwines. Oh, shit, that's Johnny. Dude, I love that. Like, it just intertwines all the characters into one. Into, like, one story. It's freaking sick. That's so cool. Hey, mommy, come with that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I, I was working late at the club. Yeah, mommy, don't be like that, okay? I'll be home soon. Look, I, I gotta go. Okay. This is gonna be cool. Tony Prince. What the fuck is it? It's me, though. Oh, 
how are you? I'm good, boss. How are you? Ooh, you look terrible. <laughs> That's good, because I am terrible. Fucking wretched. What's wrong? Oh, the usual. Boyfriend thinks I'm a cash machine. One nightclub <laughs> catering to the rich, mindless crowd. In the city where the rich, mindless crowd is suddenly poor and mindless. Another club catering to the gay and decadent crowd, where the gay and decadent crowd suddenly think decadence means buying outrageous new throw cushions instead of getting loaded in a bar. And every half-wit, part-time hood in this city thinking, I know, let's put the squeeze on the club owners. They must really, really want to substitute my inadequacies with their money because after all, they want to stay up all night talking bullshit to morons because they enjoyed it. it sounds pretty usual. Oh, thanks for the support. Hey, that's <laughs> what I'm here for, boss. <laughs> Yes, you know, if the bodyguard business partner thing doesn't work out, you should consider a career as a fucking life coach. <laughs> what? Never mind. Did you speak to Troy? Yeah, he said he loves you, but he can't handle working the door at a gay club anymore. He says people are laughing at him. Who's laughing at him? I don't know. I think the little people who live in his head. The ones stuck in 1955. <laughs> oh, I love those people. And what's up with Desi? Yeah, he says he saw you last night. Yeah, and you was holding court with that Chloe Parker until uh, 4 a.m.? I was? Apparently so. Oh, my God. 45 years old, and I get my kicks doing blow with 17-year-old kids whose only claim to fame is that people know better what their vagina looks like than their face. <laughs> I should be sent to prison, shouldn't I? Yeah, most definitely. What's this money? Did you rob your own club? <laughs> Tony, I just went to the bank for you, man. I don't want it in the bank. Hey, Tony, the door was open. Man, it's easier to get into your apartment than into your nightclub. Yeah, we have an Oguido policy at the club. Here I ain't so sure. Oh, I love getting racially <laughs> abused by a spick. Yeah, who's a fucking taco, Tony? Uh, my business partner, Luis. Gentlemen, watch your language. We're in the great melting pot. We're not spicks or guidos or fags. We're proud Americans. Luis, this is Vince and Rocco, relatives of Gracie. And credit is to you. And guess what? We ain't here about Gracie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's a start. I guess we don't have to beat you two lovers up. <laughs> yeah, good luck. See you later. Oh, nice to meet you, Muscles. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, there goes payroll. Yo, uh, this is gonna be funny as Who shit. Who the fuck were those two assholes, T? <laughs> Fine men of the cloth. Who the fuck do you think they are? Ancelotti goons I borrowed money from way back. Uh, never mind. Amateurs. Come on, let's get out of here. He let's just go. got robbed, and he's so nonchalant about it. Yeah, yeah, they just robbed my money that I made, you know, last night in my club. It's okay. Now, I know that he worked for Tony because towards the end of uh, the Lost and Damned DLC. We need to go to Hercules. This is the character that messed everything up. Get in Tony's car. And when we did that transaction with Tony, I think it's uh, Tony's boyfriend that we killed. All right, so... Oh, I like how all the little highlights are in pink. Give it up, Tom. That's sick. Where'd the cash come from? Well, tell me you've been running a skim job. 100% legitimate, Luis. You know me. Total transparency. Sometimes I wonder if you brought me on as a partner just to share the blame when the IRS comes knocking. I was investing in your industry and acumen. Don't look for anything sinister here. That's what you say, T. But I'm kind of suspicious. Maybe witnessing that robbery made me paranoid. And maybe it's just hanging out with you. Who the fuck knows? Damn, so this is just a dude that Tony hired, and he's gonna get all the shit. And I guess we'll find out. But I'm pumped. I feel like this is gonna be... A lot of you have been telling me that the the Battle of Gay Tony DLC is... it's The difference between this one and the Lost and Dam is that these missions are ten times more fun to play. Here we are. So, I guess we'll find out. Troy, get over here. A very important client is coming tonight. We need complete discretion. Hey, <laughs> you know me, Tone. Don't ask, don't tell. Military grade. Hey, this is serious. He's paranoid no one will buy his next CD if they know he'd rather be singing cabaret than rapping. As if people buy CDs anymore. Sure. And they cabaret Look, rapping. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Another time, Troy. <laughs> we'll be at Masonette. <laughs> oh, that's funny shit. Yeah, nobody would definitely buy the CDs if that's the case. We should all be getting anxious. The nightclub business is going to shit. Forget the banks. We're the ones who needed a bailout. No more of that shit left, D. So is this his club? Charming, Lulu. Hi, Tom. Hey, Al. 
So we've been working for him for a while. I gotta make some calls. You work the floor. Or at least it sounds like that. Okay. Welcome to Massian at nine. You can try to impress the ladies with your dancing. If you dance successfully with a lady, you may get a surprise. Okay. You can also get some shots at the bar. So we're gonna get drunk today or what? Or you can go upstairs to the VIP area and take part in the drinking game. If this were me, I'd probably get a shot first. Definitely get a shot first before I build up my courage. Go easy on these tonight, all right? And then I'll take it. Thanks. Now I'll press up. Take another. I probably take another shot. I feel like I need to get a little bit more loose. Here you go, Luis. Before I build some more courage. Let's get drunk today, boys. Today. You know what? Actually, I probably take another one. Yeah, three shots does the trick. Final shot. I promise. Oh. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I'm already drunk. Oh. Oh. Uh, how do I dance? Oh, my health is going down. Oh my god. <laughs> God darn it! Hold on, let me see. Can I dance with someone? <laughs> oh. 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 There we go. <laughs> I think I'm doing this right. I don't know. I think I just got to move the joystick, right? Oh, snap. Look at my boy popping and locking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does she look like a fucking demon? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Let's get it, boys. This right here, this is why I work for Tony. No rules, no boundaries. Oh my god. Bro, he's grinding on <laughs> That's right, Lewis. Get your grind on, homie. You got this. Oh. Pleasure on the job. <laughs> oh, snap. What's going on there? What just happened? Oh. <laughs> What's going on? Wait, are we really. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna be absolutely fucking epic. That's all I'm saying. All right, Tony, now I can get back to work. What's going on here? What's going on here? I just had a. Why you laying your hands on me like that, man? I just had a pleasurous meeting. Girls all say they're fucking him. I don't care if you're his damn mother. You ain't coming in. Not in them clothes. Not with that attitude. Enjoy looking for a job in this economic climate, motherfucker. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck, eh? 
Tell this clipboard and earpiece motherfucker to back off, Al. Back up? Yo, what's the problem, D? You asking me? Yo, relax. Go inside. I got it. Yeah, go relax. Go inside, eh? Oh, no, mommy. You need to okay. go relax. Later for you. Ah. Nice. Shut up. Okay? Jeez. Wow. Downtown's really changed you, man. You too good to take money from me and Enrique now? You know it ain't even like that, bro. Okay? You don't pay for shit in here. Okay? You just can't be looking like you came from selling dope on the corner. You say that like it's a bad thing. Tony, what do you think? <laughs> Jesse wouldn't let me dress like that, huh? You see what I mean? Come to think of it, Lou, what the fuck are you wearing, huh? What? Go home and take a bath. <laughs> do nothing else. Put on some clothes, huh? Yeah, I had a complicated day, okay? All right. So take some time off. The girls in there could use a night off, too. <laughs> we up. Bye-bye, gentlemen. Nice boss you got there. You stuck a fucking fag. Mike, come on. Yeah. Actually, these are my boys now. Oh, and we get in Tony's car. It's supposed to be a Mercedes. <laughs> Take your friends back to Northwood. Oh, this is sick. Bro, that was a fucking... That okay. mission alone was worth it. How many days a week you work those corners? Seven days. Junkies need junk, rain, sleep, or shine. You ain't no postman, look. You a pusher. All those hours, you'd make more slinging meat at Burger Shot than risking a bit on them corners. You sound like 5-0. Shit. You think Enrique could get a job at Burger Shot? What's your IQH? 76, motherfucker. What they gonna let you do at Burger Shot with an IQ sub 80? They just about to let me wash the goddamn dishes. You see what I mean, Al? They don't even have dishes at Burger Shot. All this shit is polystyrene. There ain't another job in the city for this dumb bastard to do. Early <laughs> wage considered and all. You don't get no pussy working burger shot neither. If them Ivy League motherfuckers can't find work, what you think Rike's meant to do? Work them corners, man. Work them corners. I cure don't mean nothing, man. You guys are better than this. I don't want any of us to go away again. Then come on board with us. We can start selling our own product. Your connections, man. We'll have the whole city on our gear. I took a bit for you once, man. I ain't going back there. You think I put in all this work to go back inside? <clears throat> this is gonna Christian be interesting. This was the best thing that happened to you, L. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Before you went in there, you was a skinny little shit, and now you pump. Here we be. Thanks, Luis. So this guy has like a double that life. Is, L. Tell that boss of yours we'll be back same time next week. Yeah, see you. I'm a huevos. Oh, huevos. Not necessarily a double life, but he's got. Tony's side of the story and then he's got his homies. I wonder if eventually you'll have to choose between one or the other. Interesting. Yo, I, I wanted to say, but due to the dialogue, I, I don't want to mess it up. But man, that was fun, dude. Holy hell, that was hilarious. This this thing so far is literally amazing. This is a good, good DLC. Holy hell. Alright. Guess we're at home. Maybe we eventually get some good clothes on. Who knows? All right, here we are. You can save uh, any vehicle in the parking place outside of your apartment. Well, oh, that's my boss's vehicle, but sure. I'm assuming this is either him or maybe his brother that went to the army. Okay, this is Lewis's apartment. Pretty good apartment, to be honest. A boy Lewis is living good. Once you complete all missions in the game, you'll be able to repeat missions and improve your score. Yes, I'm un poquito. Luis? Yeah, it's me, Tom. Things go smooth at the clubs? <laughs> Made me wonder why I need you around at all. Oh, great. I might just take a vacation then. Come on, I was kidding. The clubs fell apart without you. So that bank robbery on the news could have been an opportunity for some positive PR. Fuck that shit. I don't need any press like that. Not with the way police treat an ex-con in this town. <laughs> Have it your way. See you soon. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and change our clothes. Can I change my clothes here? Okay. Let's see what we got. Change outfits. This is clean right here, baby. I think I'm going to go with that. Unless he's got it all in white. Although I like the uh, the hood swag, too. Very organic, very natural. Ooh, look at that jacket. This guy's got some swagged out clothes. I like. No, I'm gonna go for the black suit for now. 
And then when I start getting into the dirty work, then I'll go ahead and start changing. Oh, shit. So we live on the first floor? Ah, oh, okay. Why is my car on? <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Yo, this is sick, dude. I'm digging this. This guy lives a much more classy life than Johnny. Of course, he's got classier friends. I guess now we'll just drive around a little bit and see what pops up. You have received a text message. Tony. To do with some help at the Messi and I come by during the opening hours or, just, or I'll see. Okay. Or I'll see you at the loft. T. All right. So I guess if we go to the map, we'll drive all the way to Tony. Maybe I should take a cab there. Should we take a cab there? All right, so typically I would, but since this is the first episode and we are kind of uh, doing the introduction to the first episode of the series, I'm gonna leave some of the driving here and uh, just enjoy the scenery. <clears throat> pretty much, <clears throat> Jesus. Pretty much the same thing that I did with, uh, with the Lost and Damned. We'll go ahead and drive for the first episode a little bit more than usual. And then we'll start taking taxis. I think I also mentioned that in the, the Lost and Damned DLC that taxis were definitely a game changer in this game. Like the fact that some GTAs back in the days you had to drive all the way. That was a pain in the ass. Okay. Careful. I don't want to crash Tony's car. I'm going to make it an example. Or make it a goal of mine to drive as clean as possible without crashing, or at least not too much. And that rule is only going to apply to today's episode, because I know eventually I'm going to end up crashing and driving like total shit. There we go, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is cool, dude. Do the cars drive so much better than the motorcycles? <laughs> I don't miss the motorcycles at all. All right, we're here. A practice swing. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, where the fuck have you been, man? Yeah, I came as soon as I could. I don't pay for as soon as I could. Sleep with half the women in Liberty City, no doubt. What's wrong with you, man? You're acting like an asshole. You think I don't know that? You think I like being like this? Then what's wrong, T? I fucked up. Good and proper. I work on Gonquin Nightlife 20 years. I beat everyone. Mayors, rivals, drugs, everyone. And this time, I fucked up. I'm the only man in the history of this town with the hottest gay and straight clubs at the same time, and I'm about to lose everything. What are you talking about, D? I don't know if it's that idiot Evan, or, or the economy, or this fucking cocaine, or the pills, which I am not taking anymore. But this time, I fucked up. Oh. Oh. I've done a deal with the wrong devil, man. I'm such an idiot. If things have been bad before, man. You get us out of it. I fight, you plot, together we get out of it. Sure, but we've never been this fucked before. Hey, you saved me, man. Made me. Gay Tony will always be the king of this town. You are this town. I sold the business to two different people, and they each think they own the lot. Man, we're fucked. So I'll go tell them they gave you the money as a present. If they don't like it, I take them to the special VIP room at the bottom of the West River. <laughs> it's going to be very crowded in the VIP room. <laughs> These are not nice people, and there's a lot of them. And right now, you and me have to go play nice with one of them so they don't start sending rent a Goomba into the club. Fuck. It's going to be OK, man. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> Meanwhile, there's, a, there's this blogger. This nebbish with an internet connection, bad-mouthing me all over town. Do you know this guy? The, the celebrinator? Celebrinator what? I, whatever. <laughs> Come on. Celebrinator. Right, the girl? <laughs> there wasn't a girl, man. There's always a girl. This guy works for Tony and pimps it. We're I like it. Go at the driving range. Go to the Gold Pier Golf Club. Man, something about this DLC that's really... I don't know. Like, I feel like it's just... We doing something I don't know. Marco. It was the fun. Who took your money? Yes. One of the joys of getting old is being ordered around by people below the age of consent in Utah. 
Don't you mean it's one of the joys of borrowing money you can't pay back? He can take my money, blackmail me, put a gun to my head, but if I'm caught in bed with him, it's me who goes to jail. Rocco struck me as an insecure prick, but I didn't think he wrote like that. He doesn't. I don't think so, at least. You think he does? Well, that pent-up suburban hard man angst? The fake tan and muscles can be confusing. Let's go find him. Are right, the Golden Pier. Oh! Rock, hey, how are you? There they are, the spick and the fag. Tony, shit, you got burrito breath. You ain't been eating Mexican again, have you? Yo, Rock, you invested in the wrong clubs, man. Maybe split sides is more your vibe. Oh, but uh, bum. I'm sure I would have found that funny if I spoke spick. Real shame, I'll have to ask my maid to translate for me. Rock, what do you need? I need you to help me get some information out of this union prick who's decided to get an overinflated opinion of himself. These fucking guys, stuck in the 1970s or something. Where is he? He's right down there. Fuck! <laughs> oh, big man! I'm gonna get down there and go talk to him. Like you bag. hit him with some balls when I tell you to, huh? <laughs> you think you can do that for me, Louise? Yeah, I'll give it a try. Oh, we're actually playing golf in the second mission. What is this, bro? We just banged. Now we're playing golf. God damn. All right, use uh to shoot the position. Press A to start backswing to hit the ball. What press we doing, A. Man? We're keeping our most important investor happy. Just hit it already. Is that going to hit him? <laughs> Who ain't playing ball then? Give it up. There's a guy who works at Libel, a foreman on a Columbus Avenue job. He's the guy holding this up. You got more than that. I know it. Fuck you, all right? Fuck you. There ain't nothing else. All right, Why is he moving it? Damned if I know. Don't Rocco have someone else to hit the batting cage for him? You've met the guy, haven't you? I can't imagine he's got too many friends. Oh, that's cool, dude. I don't you know ever if you swung one of those things before. Uh, for Christ's sake! Um, oh. eye on the ball. You my fucking caddy? The hell, dude? I thought they bred you tacos for sports. I hit the black bar, dude. 100%. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the rest of them, you piece of shit. I hear Jack Duffy with the TWU might be with them. Okay, now fuck off already. So you got those two guys. I told you enough already. That is, is actually that torturous. Where'd you learn to play golf, Lou? Right here, right now. Needs must, don't? To be honest, I never fancied the game. I find the clothes you have to wear kind of unflattering. I think I missed. You ah. Dominicans is meant to be athletes. <laughs> That's so Bend the up. knees. It's all in the knees. Hold on. Enough for the commentary. Ah, fucking hell, dude. You pulled it. Shut up! Any tour championships, that's for sure. I'm trying you here. Step up? Be my guest. Please tell me that worked. <laughs> boy! There's got to be more than just those two. This comes from right up top, the head of the LTA. He's in with the Messina, so you can't do shit. That was actually really cool. You know where I am, assholes. I wouldn't want to be you. You think that means shit to me? Fuck you. Oh, there they come. Oh! Shit! Give me a fucking hand here! Oh my god. We gotta go help Rocco. God darn it! Alright. Where are we going? Top A? Are we going downstairs? All right, we have only one. Oh, oh, what the? Hold on, hold on. 
How am I supposed to shoot these guys? Yo, this is fucking cool, dude. You like that, huh? You like that? All right, hold on. How I get myself into this shit? All right, I'm gonna go around. I don't have any more bullets. Good. Now I got an Uzi. Now that I got an Uzi, you guys don't fucked up. In the middle of a fucking golf course. <laughs> uh, I need this ammo. Damn, that's a lot of ammo. Tony's just there chilling in the golf Rock park. Going. Follow him. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> this is awesome. Let me go. We might just make it. Go, go. Oh, so we're getting out through here. Look at us in Dude, this is so cool. <laughs> Get out of the way, you stupid pedestrians. Oh, God. Oh, dude, I'm going to die here. Oh, my God. Look at my health. Get out of the way! We might be in the clear. Oh my god. Push it, Lou. Come on. We're nowhere near top speed in this thing. Oh, really, though? When you become the golf buggy specialist? No, I don't know. Just get us out of here and shut up. That's it. We're clear. Wow. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? That was a pleasant outing, Rock. Where's that put us with you know what? We square? Square? What you borrowed? At those points? You ain't even making a dent on the interest. Besides, I'm about to have to do all the messy work on this guy myself. No, but I, I, I told you shit. I told you everything. I'll see you girls later. Jesus! Yo, that dude's being tortured to hell, I swear. Let's just head back to the apartment. All right, let's head back to Tony's hey, you know, apartment. I'm really warming to that guy. Like a back case of crabs. Crabs are easy to get rid of. Believe me on that one. Thank you for sharing. We're business partners. We share everything. <laughs> the emphasis is on business, bro. You can keep your crabs to yourself. Sorry, man, but I really got us in the shit here, Luis. Tony, man, you got to calm down. You're really pushing me. Yeah, well, if you weren't out chasing tail, this was a two-man operation like it should be, then maybe things will be holding together better. Oh. I'm getting blamed for this now. Oh, of course. Whenever I come to the clubs, you ask me to run off on some stupid errand like a chump. You don't ever let me into the serious shit. And you do deals without even telling me. Until it comes time to protect your ass from whoever you got your fatwa of the day from. All right, all right. Maybe I've taken you for granted. I'll change. I'll be better. Yeah, thank you. But I don't believe it. Here we are, bro. Rest up, okay? Listen, Lou, would you mind paying Maury a visit? He says he needs help with something. I know he's a bit of a schmuck, but we owe the man money, and I don't want him anywhere near the clubs. I feel you there, T. That guy is a social atom bomb. I'll go see him. All right. There we go. The Ballad of Gay Tony. I like that. I like that uh, after report thing. Although it kind of exposes me for my shitty skills. So I was going to head over to Morty, but I think Tony just got a new mission. So we're gonna go to him and we're just gonna finish off his missions instead.
then we'll take it from there. Just so we can finish all the characters one at a time. Even though it doesn't really matter, but... Here we go. For some reason, the graphics in this game do look a little better than in GTA uh, for the uh, the Lost and Damned. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Did this one come out after? It could just be me, though. Who knows? Chinese takeout. Nothing good ever happens to the Chinese. We already know that. Hey, man. hey bro. They're don't vicious. Man. Yeah. Straight kill us. Huh? Look at this guy. All right, more copyrights coming my way. I like it. Oh! Oh, that's Morty the Meathead. Wasn't that him? And this is fucking <laughs> cousin Bellic, Roman Bellic. <laughs> Dude, I love it. Uh, all the characters just come. Maury. That's awesome. No, no, Maury. Maury, no, I, I got the money. Seriously, that's not No, it wasn't Morty the Meathead. It was... I just want to make you happy. I'm getting confused. Is there confused. anything else my team can do for you? No, we can do events, parties. <laughs> no, anything you like. Just, just give it a think. All right, bye-bye. What a dick. What's up, D? Oh, I don't want to think about what's up. Come on, there's something I got to take care of. What was that guy's name? The Meathead. <clears throat> ah. I don't know why I thought Modi, but it wasn't him then. <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. Tony! You remember me? Of course, of course. Uh, my business partner, Mr. Lopez. Yusuf Amir. What is up, homie? Not much. <laughs> hey, you guys want to join us maybe for uh, a bit of this or a bit of that? Ah, uh, we'd love to, but we gotta go deal with some business. Okay, good. Good seeing you. Yeah. Take care, huh? Oh, 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 oh. And uh, if you ever want to talk about franchising this place, huh, just give me a call. We will. We absolutely will. Hi. <laughs> Let's go. I'm in the mood, baby. Ya wallahi. Ha, ha. Wallahi. Ha. All right. Well, shit's getting weird here. <clears throat> what was that guy's name, bro? The really strong dude, the buff guy that was funny as hell in GTA 4. You gotta go to the Dragon's Heart Plaza. Noise, just in case. Just in case? No, this is some sci-fi shit. I know a guy who gave me a deal. What can I say? It helps to be prepared. What are we doing in Chinatown? Take a guess. Another job for that Rocco. Oh, yeah? That moron pal of yours. After what happened at the driving range? We still owe that brinkly fuck? I did a lot of dumb things in my life, Luis, but none of them were dumber than borrowing from those pricks. Really, though? Because you've done some real dumb things. I mean... You're still going out with Evan. This is serious. <laughs> fucking mafia. Even if we did have the money to pay them back, they wouldn't take it. They're gonna ride us into the ground. But you don't have the money, do you, Tom? Hey, what about that thing in London? Oh, that gotta pull us through this? Didn't I tell you? Shit, London ain't happening. And I wouldn't travel to that side of the pond anytime soon if you were thinking about it. Fuck, bro. Thanks for keeping me in the loop. Again. All right, we're here. A China, China, China town. In that case, I guess my brother is in good hands. You take care of that prick. It seems the definition of family loyalty differs in your country. The marketplace has a value for everything, and I guess that a disloyal Jew bastard ain't worth shit to me, brother or no brother. Such are the heady joys of consumer capitalism. A system that's flaws are becoming increasingly evident. Ah, <laughs> that's right, I forgot. You little yellow people are commies too, huh? Both sides of the fence. You know, I grew up watching your kind getting killed on the TV. Hell of a show. I'm sure. You set them up? Perhaps the show wasn't as much fun as the reality of that war. Hmm, perhaps not. Now I bid you farewell, sir, and don't do all that smack at once. On second thought, you know, go ahead. Do. Dude, so boo. Hey, watch it, you greaseball fuck. I apologize for our associate's uncouth. Wow, Billy set them up. say that our partnership with him is one of necessity, not volition. In the lost and Please, damned. You must be the famous Tony <laughs> Prince. Ah, uh, notorious, maybe. This is Luis Lopez, my business partner. Hey. 
Mr. Pelosi has led me to expect much from this meeting. Ah, yeah, about that. Rocco has a tendency to promise more than he can deliver. So that must have been weaned too early. Yeah, not weaned at all. As you can see, we are already behind schedule on this project. We need you to, uh, how do I put this, to uh, clear things with the planning department and to ease some licensing troubles. Hey, look, we're not lawyers, okay? We run nightclubs, pretty badly, too. <laughs> we got enough trouble keeping the licenses on our own clubs, okay? We don't do licenses. Before I was being polite, Mr. Lopez, but I do not have to be. Mr. Pelosi made it clear that you are not in a position to choose who you help and who you do not. Yeah, well, that kid's got a big mouth, okay? And he ain't in no position to be writing checks for us, okay? We are not going to be able to help you, period. Let's go to him. Sorry to waste your time, Mr. Um, you are not going anywhere until we have an arrangement. No, I'm afraid we are. There is no arrangement. You got a problem? Take it up with your boy Rocco. <laughs> you are not negotiating column inches and bar tabs, you insolent fuck! We are serious people! <laughs> really? Mm. Yeah, really! <laughs> what is wrong with you? I was supposed to be the irrational idiot with the anger issues. I got anger issues, okay? The guy threatens to shoot me because I can't arrange a liquor license for him. Please, give me a break, T. Oh, God. Oh, They're coming for us! Oh, my God. Dude, what I took from that was that Billy's a freaking scumbag. I mean, I. Oh, P90 suppressed? I mean, I knew he was a scumbag, but. Motherfuckers! But damn, dude. He really Tell set up his entire crew. Tony, man. Wow. What a little piece of crap, man. I can take this scumbag now! They're coming out through the drywall and everything. I'm not hitting anything here, am I? This guy reminds me of Scarface in some way, shape, or form. Although Scarface was Cuban, his accent and behavior definitely reminds me of some Scarface. All right, we got more armor right here. That's good. Y'all want a piece of this? Nice. Whatever you say, man. Just rolling in. You want to get clapped? Dude, this game really, like, this DLC just gives you a bunch of shit to play with. Like, look at this crazy P90 with, like, a thousand bullets we just we got. Like, for nothing. Come out, you little prick. Okay, he's done. Oh, more armor. Hell yeah. No wonder. Actually, you're not. Oh, no. God damn it. Is there more armor anywhere in here? Maybe in one of these offices? Yo, this has been so much fun. Holy hell. Should have played this long time ago. I just know it wouldn't have been the same if I would have played it on console. I'm kind of glad I'm doing these on, on the computer instead. I've got to be completely honest. What are you doing, dude? You want to get smoked? Move up to me. Go get him, Tiger. Oh, hang back. If I 
you make it, the clubs are yours, Luis. That means that that's mine too? You can keep it. You got me angry now. How are those people not dead? I just grenaded them. Oh my god. Hold on. Ah, oh, they're dead. You gotta be more right there. For sure. Come up here, bro. I'm paranoid, bro. I've got no health. Wait for Tony to exit the building. Tony, let's go. Tony! Yo. Shit, 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 shit. Can you drive me to the apartment? I need to lie down. <laughs> this guy always needs to lie down. <laughs> Let's go, Tony. We got this. Go out the way, lady. I can't believe we made it out of there. That was worse than spin class. My fucking heart. Hey, you need to look after yourself. I'm soaked through. I must have lost three pounds in sweat. Yeah, don't go looking for a bright side. Michael's big mouth nearly got us killed. Fuck. When I get a hold of him... You won't do anything, Lou. You'll play it nice. We can use this if we're smart. We were dumb enough to walk into the death trap for the kid. I doubt we're gonna pull brains out of our asses now. Leave it to me. You're gonna call Rocco then? Rip him a new one? I got a feeling we ain't the only ones who'll be ripping him, Lou. God, I need my Whoa, pills. Don't take that shit, T. I'm serious. Dude, this is this is really cool. I've I've got to be completely honest. This is a really, really, really cool DLC. Like much better than I thought. Much, much better than I thought. Although I want to keep playing this, I want to do like one or two more missions. I've actually got to go eat right now, so my food's getting cold. So if I were to do another mission, it's it's just gonna be a nightmare when I go eat it. So I'm gonna end it here. If you guys want daily GTA for Battle of the Gay Tony, I will deliver. This is super, super fun. Like, I'm so into this DLC right now. I love the Brotherhood of the Lost and Dam, but this is this is something else. Hello. Tommy! What's happening, man? Who's this? That's Yusuf Amir, man. Who? Did you get my the guy number? Who wants to talk about franchising your club? Hey, those conversations are usually Tony's department. Well, Mr. Tony gave me your number. There are some other matters I need to discuss before we get down to the real shit. Hey, if Tony gave you my number, then it's okay, bro. Great! Come hang out at my apartment. It's right on the middle park. Prime location. One of the most exclusive in the city. Top dollar shit. you love it. Yeah, all right. I'll be by sometime. Just don't wait up. All right, so we've got another contact. So there you have it. Guys, thank you for watching. If you want daily GTA, the Battle of the Gay Tony, drop it a like. And hopefully, I'll catch you guys later.